Welcome to Interviews with IQ. We have our special guest here, Chef Will. Glad to have you, brother. How you doing? Man, feeling good. Feeling good. How you doing, Keith? Hey, doing very well, sir. We heard that you're part of this uh, well-versed group. For sure. And well-versed. We've had, we uh, did an interview earlier with Jacoby North, and he kind of touched on that. So we're very excited to have another member of well-versed in the crew for this interview. So we're going to dive straight into it. Uh, nothing hold back, but we've heard a lot of your tracks, man. How long have you been involved with music? Everything seems like it's yeah. super fire. Um, as far as like music as a whole, basically been doing that all of my life. As far as rapping on a mic, seriously, I just started. It's been about a year. Seriously, like I started rapping on a mic with Well Verse to actually start dropping music for real. I've like rapped on a mic and recorded a little bit back in high school, but it was nothing serious. But seriously, it's been about a year. That's good, man. But but touch on that. So you said you've been only rapping on the mic for about a year, but you've been doing music your whole life. Like, what do you mean yeah. by that? Like, you've been I'm a, yeah, basically, I'm a, I'm a band kid. Band, a band kid. kid. Yeah, I've been in band all of my life. Played drums ever since I was a little kid. Played drums in church. Played drums in school. So that's basically like where my whole foundation started with music is band. Yeah, we heard that you. Uh, we also played for the drum line here at uh, the university at Florida State. Well. For sure, Florida State, for like sure. That. Can get yeah, education. a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Get to play at football games and then get to play at basketball games, volleyball games. So yeah, definitely a lot of fun. So you're very musically inclined. You got you got music is pretty much in your blood. You can say you've been doing this since you're a young kid. Um, what is some of your biggest inspirations musically? My biggest inspirations musically, as far as like getting started and actually like having something to give to people, definitely my dad. He basically just like he got me my first speakers, he got me my first like turntable, he put me on like with the okay. softwares and everything. So musically like inspired, definitely from my dad. He's a DJ as well, so just like that is definitely a music part as in putting it to the public. And then as far as like musically on the mic and rapping and everything, the people that like inspired me is definitely like as for the first person ever, early in middle school, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz. Definitely, definitely Wiz Khalifa. You got in trouble. Music, uh. Yeah, got in trouble for his singing some of his songs in class and everything. So Wiz was like my foundation, just like finding my swag and all of that. But then like other musical inspirations that I have definitely like goes like with Smino, Masego, K Trinata. Like I like a lot of EDM and house as well. So those are definitely my top people for sure. I like that. I like that. Um Speaking about your family, you said your dad was a DJ. is very interesting. So does your does your family really support your decision to be a musical star and try to fight this, go for this dream and shit like that? For sure, yeah. They're all on board. So, yeah, my dad, he's a DJ. And he'll send me videos of him playing my song at, like, any of his gigs. Like, he plays I Want It All a lot at some gigs. So that's really cool. And that's then, tough. yeah, as far as, like, my family as a whole, they're definitely supporting me all the way, for sure. Like, they, my family surprised me at my first show that I had out here at the Junction at Monroe. Like, it surprised me. And that's when I knew, Shout like, out to the Junction, man. Mm-hmm. Shout, Shout out to giving, the Junction. Giving the young artists a platform, I Debut. See. Debut performance, Debut. for sure. It was cool. Yes, sir. So, I mean, I've, I've heard a couple of your raps, obviously, you know, Really involved in that, and I love a lot of your lyrics. And I know I've told you about it, and I text you personally, like how much some of the things that you say like impact me. But how do you feel like your music connects with the culture and the youth? You know, what is your your stance on that? Right. So basically, like I feel like my music definitely hits the youth and everything because everything that I'm saying and the message that I'm putting out is all clean. Like there's no profanity. And so what it started that was basically I wanted to be able to show that like you can be just as hard with all your music and it's still like about how you're living like I'm I'm not trapping I'm not out there like wild and not like that but like I like to dance I like to I like to go out and so that's what I incorporate into my music of being around people showing love just having a lot of fun and so I definitely just like that's the that's what I'm hitting for it's just for like it's music for everybody I like that music for everybody Straight that's up. really inspirational Straight up. You want to make sure that, I mean, and music gets to touch everybody. That's the purpose of it. You know, play the strings of someone old, young, happy or sad, right. poor and rich, you know. I think that's a good purpose. Now everyone can kind of resonate with something that you put out. And I like that a lot. Um, during your whole entire music career, I know you said you've been rapping seriously for a year now, but there's got to be some ups and some downs, some lefts and some rights. So what is one of your biggest wins in this? And what was, what is one of your biggest fears in this industry? All right. So one of my biggest wins, I would say, is just when it came to music, everybody knew I played drums. Like, that's all they knew. They just knew I was in band and drumline. I played drums. Like, that's all anybody knew. 
And then secondly came like I DJed a little bit, but like they like many people didn't really know that like being in band was my main thing. So then now the win with recording and like rapping and being able to put it out, it's like the response that I've gotten is allowing people to know that like I can actually do something else as well. And so I think that's a win as far as just I'm not musically inclined to only doing one thing like I'm doing other things as well. So I, that's definitely a big win. It's like, it's, it's more than one thing. It's more than one thing, for sure. <clears throat> definitely. And the, the, one of the biggest fears, you feel like, in this one industry? One of the biggest fears in this industry, I would say, just what you're working for and not working out. And it's like, that's my biggest fear because, like, all the work that all of me and the team have been putting in, there's no way for me to, like, think or picture that it won't work out. But then, like, at the end of the day, you never know. So that's my biggest fear, just, like, it won't work out. Yeah, I mean, it does have a lot of endless possibilities within this industry, you know? For sure. Sometimes the... I always like to say, what you know, what's in the darkness will come into light. And so I, I truthfully believe that, you know, if you're working hard and you're doing what you can, without the opportunity, when it comes to bridges itself, you know, if you're ready for it, right. it's going to come arise. So, you know, you never know when your opportunity is going to exist, but I'm... For you guys, I think it's going to come very quick. And I want to emphasize you guys because, you know, the last person I talked to was Jacoby North, a part of the member of Well Varys as well. And uh, he was telling me about the dynamic of the team. Can you touch on the team a little bit? And I heard yes. like, there's still more members. There's another yep. piece yeah, of the puzzle. There's, there's mad members in Well Verse. So as the artist, yes, is I'm, I'm a part of the, the label. And then we have Jacoby North. He's a part of the label. He has some music on the way as well. Some some cool new music about to come out. Yes, and then sir. we have BBA, also known as Broke Boy Amp. He's got some music on the way. And then we have Pat, P.A.T. Yes, sir. And then we have Scooch on the loose. <laughs> we got him killing it. So those are those are the artists that we have out here rocking. And so yeah, we all just like we all bring our own different vibe to the table. And oh, it's just, a dynamic, you feel? Yeah, exactly. It's a it's a cool dynamic, and I say it's a cool dynamic just because like when I first met these guys, music wasn't even, like, in the question. Like, it wasn't even about music. It was about Greek life and, and chilling, you know? Like, Definitely. And then, as we got to know each other, then music came into it. And I met them. I met them. Like, they already knew each other, but I met them. And my big and drumline, Zay, he put me on. And he was like, yeah, he, like, is into music. And they were into music. <coughs> and then we were at the boulevard, and we all met. Like you stayed over there too. Yeah, like yeah, man. everybody was just the living days, there. <laughs> everybody was living there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good, man. Um, yeah, I love it. every time I get around you guys, I love it so much, and I know the energy is great, and you guys all have a different piece to bring to the table. But you know, five artists, especially five aspiring artists, it must be some stress to take care of. Like, talk about your manager. Like, how does how does he take care of you guys? Like, how how is he able to take For care sure. of five fucking For artists? Sure. Will Stanley, man. Will Stanley. You already know. There's a, I don't even know where it started. Just like music wouldn't be out without him. Music wouldn't be out. Promotion wouldn't be going on. That's Shows wouldn't have happened without him. So it's definitely like everything that's happened, he is a part of it. Like he, he is like the reason that happened. Like he has his hand and he has his funds. Like he has all of that in. So that we all can live up to the bigger picture. So everything that you see, like Will has a part of it. Will has a part of it straight up. Videos, music, mixing, mastering, all of that. He's got his hand in it for sure. So like shout out, shout, shout out, out to Will, man. Shout out to Will, shout out to Will first, man. Shout <laughs> out to the Beckets. Yeah, man. Um, Good tracks. So it seems like, you know, each one of you guys have your own different flavor, your own different theme, you know, everyone has their own different pocket. And just speaking of you, it seems like, you know, you even have, like, the own way that you dress as well whenever you're presenting yourself hey. as an artist. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's every time, and it's very, it's very swaggy, you know, it's very Appreciate you. It. Can you touch on that? You know, what do you, yeah. like, when you try to present yourself to people, you know, what do you want them to see? For sure. Well, like, tonight, I'm I'm just, you know, it's a nice, Cash. it's a nice, nice Sunday night, so I just want, like, a nice little hoodie, but... When I'm, like, out and everything, if I don't have on a shirt with the tie, then I'm definitely, like, dressing with something that kind of flashes as far as, just like, my outerwear. Just, like, you know, a black shirt, but then, like, a cool jacket going on. So I definitely just like to, I like to keep it subtle, but I like to have, like, those elements in my outfit that pop. 
that's more of my that's more of my style. So I always just think of that like in one of my spots, like I'm always I'm always shopping at I go to Goodwill plenty. Goodwill has the gems, man. Thrifty, like, yeah, man. yeah, sometimes that's the, you got that's some, the secret, man. Some you nice go diamonds to, in the rough. You gotta man. go to Goodwill, just search through all the wraps. And you'll find some pieces in there for sure. Oh yes, sir. Some some might be embezzled. You don't know. <laughs> you, you never feel. know. So uh, I know you can't speak for all well versed, but we're just gonna ask about Chef Will. Um, what's next? You know, what's what's the move? What's next? What's the move? More music on the way. Get ready to dance. More more content and videos on the way. Just a lot of good music on the way. Like, everything's that's everything's the best in motion, brother. Move. Everything's exactly. in motion, like, it seems like. I everything's like that. actually moving, so it's really cool. Good, 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 good. Um, do you have any advice for any new artist? Since you know you're an aspiring artist, you've been kind of getting it out of the mud. I think well verse itself is the definition of getting it out of the mud. For sure. Um, you know, any new advice for artists who's trying to come up and try to do the same things that you're doing? Trying yeah. to follow those footsteps? Any... Any advice that I could like give to a to a new artist, I would say is just like number one, just put it out there. You know, like nobody's gonna gym. know what you're doing Say or what you're again. trying That's to do. Gym. Just put it out there. Like it might be nerve wracking and all, but like you gotta put it out there. And then another thing I would say is promote. However, however you wanna do it, find a way to promote. You gotta you gotta talk to people, you have to send your, your music out. You just got to do what you need to do to let people know this is what you're trying to put out. You're trying to make music. This is what you're trying to make a check off of. So definitely just put your stuff out. And once you put it out, promote it. I like that. And I feel like it goes well because I feel like every lyric that you've ever came up with, you believe in it so much that it's it's almost right for you to go out there and put that in front of people because you believe in your music that you're making. You know, I think that's... Right. I, that's something I get from you every time, you know. it's uh, You make you make real music. You know, time I appreciate music. that. So, go ahead and give me something quick and we're going to wrap it up like that. How about that? Cool, let's ride. Favorite food? Favorite food, spaghetti. Spaghetti? No no cap? Nothing? Spaghetti. No spaghetti all the way. Favorite Straight car? Up. Dream car? Dream car? Definitely a little Porsche Carrera. Something. Ooh, a little slider. <laughs> a little slider. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Favorite color? Favorite color is definitely red. Okay. Jacoby North favorite color was red, just like that. Too. Exactly. Yes, We're all sir. in tune. We're yeah, all, in, all tune. in tune. <laughs> if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Anywhere in the world, you can find me in Dubai. Dubai. Yeah, that's where I would like to be. They're just ahead of the game in all aspects, technology and all. Dubai is definitely the spot. Words or pictures? Pictures. Pictures? Pictures. You think a picture can tell a million st- million stories or can Picture. words tell a million stories? Pictures can, like both can, but pictures, and that's just like the way my mind thinks. That's the way your mind thinks? Illustrations, man. Hey, man. It's been a great <laughs> interview, brother. This was uh, Interviews with IQ. Again, this I is Chef Will. It, man. Hey, man, give a little shout out to your pages, you know, shout yeah. out to anything you um, want to talk about. My name is Chef Will. You can call me C H E F W I with four L's. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook, and you can find me on Twitter. We got a lot of music on the way, so be on the lookout for sure. Yes, sir. It's been a pleasure, my brother. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yes, well sir. Versed. Well versed. Gang. <laughs>